Hello guys, how are you doing? Check out cat cam. Yes. She's taking a nap on the freezer. Um, I just want to chat with you right a bit about the situation with Afghanistan. Now those of you who have been watching me for a long time, you know that um, my late father, the man, well, okay, I haven't put that picture back up yet. Uh, my late father served in both Korean and Vietnam conflict. In the 50s, it's Korean and Vietnam was 60s. He had two, two full tours and got 18 months of another one and lost the lower part of his left leg. In 2001, after the whole 9-11 scam happened, um, the following October, basically, the news media spent about a month prepping us for an invasion of Afghanistan. Um, I remember they said right off the bat it was Osama bin Laden. I mean, just like right like that. There was no evidence, nothing produced yet. But yeah, they knew. Well, in October of 2001, we went into Afghanistan. As soon as it was announced, I remember my late father told me it would be longer than Vietnam. The death toll would be worse. But the end results were going to be exactly the same. And they have been exactly the same. But in the videos we've seen people trying to hang on to planes to come over here. I don't know if those are CGI clips or not. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, there were people, Afghan citizens, who put everything on the line for her to help our military. Um, they're being abandoned. That's what they did in 75 in Saigon. The people that translated for our military were left behind to deal with the North Vietnamese military. It didn't even well for them. I just said that. So we are seriously seeing a replay of the whole thing. It breaks my heart. It really does. The people cannot stop and think. Stop and think. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. And we not won. We won a battle here and there, but overall we lost. We've lost so many lives. And for what? For what? The guy they said we were told for years was behind it, was not behind it. He was a CIA operative. He was armed with a satellite phone and internet connection, which can be spotty. But here we are. 20 years later in Afghanistan. Now apparently they're going to be making a big deal on 9-11. They'll be bringing everybody in to hold hands and cool by y'all. And everything's just going to go back to what it was. The moon and stars, Venus and Mars will line up and all that shit. Uh, it's exactly that shit. It's seriously sad, it really is sad, to see that interpreters and the families are already being dragged out of their homes. They're already being stoned to death. 
young girls as young as 13 and 12 are being married off. Is this really the world that we want to leave our grandchildren? Now, I don't have any grandchildren right now. I'm a daughter's 18. She has zero interest in kids. No, seriously, she, she has zero interest in them. I don't know if it's that she didn't like herself till she was like 14. But, um, zero interest in kids. We need to ask ourselves, is this really what I'm going to leave future generations? Is my answer? No. No, I don't. I don't want to leave them a legacy of one war after another and another and another.